today what we are going to be doing is painting my rims so i decided i wanted to do bronze but uh the place i ordered the bronze color from it was back ordered and it got pushed back to like december or something so so this is what i use right here the dupla color wheel coating it's very very easy to use and also it lasts a long time i also used it before on my fusion i used black but this time i wanted to go with a different color instead of just going black on black um and yeah i love the way dupla color works how long it lasts and it's also very very easy to use um so i was going to end up painting my calipers red but i think i'm gonna push that off to the next month because it's gonna take me a long long time and really don't feel like doing it uh, i already bought the paint for it and everything but we'll just push that back for another time so first what we're gonna do is take these wheels off i already got the car um up on jacks so we're about to take this wheel off now all right now that we got the wheel off um the next thing we're gonna do is pop this off which is really easy you just push it from underneath and pop it off and then we're gonna take this uh soapy water spray it down and clean it now the hardest part about cleaning these is this part right like right under here because it could be dirt like it could be dirt underneath this part right here so getting under there to clean is kind of hard because you want to make sure the whole wheel is clean um but yeah so we're gonna get started on cleaning it and do the best we can Twenty grit sandpaper right here. Um, we're gonna use this to get all of the gloss and all the paint off of it. Scuff it up as best as we can, and then we're gonna come back through with 600 grit to smooth it out. So first, let's get started with the 220, and then we'll move on to the 600 grit. So now we're gonna go through with the 60 grit sandpaper and just move everything out. And then we should be ready to start spraying then. So now that we went through with the 600 grit sandpaper, what we're gonna do is clean it one more time. Um, Cause there's a lot of dust as y'all see right there all over the wheel so we're gonna clean it one more time and then we're gonna dry it then once we do that we're gonna start spraying it down now that the wheel is clean again and dry um what i like to do is i like to use these index cards and just put them all around the edge um to mask off the tire but then i also use masking tape for this right here and to cover the little emblem right there um i don't like using masking tape or these little bags because i always struggle with those so these cover just as well, um, these index cards. So yeah, so I'm about to mask it off um, and then put these cards on there for overspray and then we're gonna start spraying. All right, everything is masked up. So first what we're gonna do, um, we gotta shake the can. I believe it says for two minutes. Once we shake the can for two minutes, we're gonna go through with one light coating, then wait 10 minutes and do another light coating. All right, so first light coating is on. Um, now we wait 10 minutes, and then while I wait on that, I'm gonna start pulling off 
this other wheel and then the front wheel too and then we're gonna get started on that with the first light coating uh, you don't really want to like spray it too hard you just want to get like a, a foundation going all right so the 10 minutes up so we just did a light coating we're gonna do one more light coating and then we're gonna move on to a more heavier medium coat Alright, second coat is done drying. So now we're gonna go through with the last coat, which will be the heaviest coat, and we're gonna make sure we hit all the spots that's not even and make sure it's an even full coat. And then we're gonna let it dry and it should be done then. All right, so we'll let this last heavy coat dry. And then after this, we'll hit it with the gloss coating to give it more of a shine. Uh, we're gonna do two gloss coatings. So yeah, we're gonna let this dry first, then we'll get to the gloss. All right, so this is the gloss we'll be using. Uh, same thing as the paint, um, two light coats, then one heavy coat, and then 10 minutes in between each coating. So let's get to it. All right, so we just finished the final gloss coat and it looks really, really good. Um, so we just gonna let it dry for, I believe it said two hours and then we're gonna put it back on the car and then I'll show you the final product. All right, so it's been a week since I painted the wheels black and I didn't show you guys yet, but for good reason. I painted the rims gold, but the emblems on the car didn't really fit with the color like I wanted it to, the blue, the blue on the emblems kind of just like threw the gold off just a little bit. So what I did was, I've been wanting to do this anyways, just for a different look on the car, but it kind of, the gold rims kind of accelerated that. So what I did was I bought these new emblems from the car. So these are what the emblems look like right here. Also changed out the emblems on the front of the car, um, the back of the car, and also the interior too. So all the emblems on the car are now this, new color and it came out really really good especially on the rims i feel like the rims look way better with the black and silver kind of carbon fiber look to it. it looks a lot more cleaner than the white and blue of the original bmw emblem really really good um i'm gonna drop all links to the emblems the paint uh, all that in the description below make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe to the channel make sure know these are on so you can see all the next upcoming videos i got because i got a lot a lot of stuff coming up appreciate y'all for watching peace out see y'all next time